like one special mention. Um, the format of tonight was changed slightly because um, we actually, um, it, it, when, when BMW Supertech heard that Justin was coming to talk, that we actually said to us, we want to go ahead and, and, and sponsor this event. So but before we go, I just want to give them, if you don't mind, an opportunity for Jeff just to come in um, and, and tell us a little bit about it. If you guys know uh, BMW Supertech, they've actually opened a, a, or the process of opening a new store at the bottom of your till. If anyone's ventured down there, don't know. Uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, 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 Jeff, we just come in and, and just so uh, Jeff is, is here of, of sales, BMW Super, Super Tech here in, in KZN. Uh, is it South Africa? No, it's uh, the Super Tech Group. Super Tech Group. Yeah, 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 and uh, so Jeff's actually very kindly offered to, he's also brought to on some trials outside. So I wanted to bring this up and just encourage you guys, please, during the networking, if you'd like to mosey on outside, um, he and his team have got some, some lovely new BMW that to show us. Um, and they've also got a, um, a side program. So yes. Um, to you, Jeff. Hi, uh, I'm Pierre Monsami. I'm the Corporate Sales Manager for BMW Supertech. Uh, first, we would like to thank you for inviting us and giving us this opportunity. Um, Supertech, as you know, is one of the largest, is the largest BMW group in KZN at the moment. Uh, we have five dealerships and soon we are opening up a new one. Uh, but to tell you more about that, uh, my dealer principal is here, Rudolf. Um, <laughs> She's wrote me into <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, look, from my side, thank you all. Um, I know when Jeff and team asked to get involved in, in this, and I, I got, I got a, well, half of the, the, the discussion, and I must say it was very interesting from my side as well, and I think it's very unique, because though it was a lot of discussion on the property side, for Supertech, especially Supertech Pine Town, we, I mean, you, you guys must have seen on the, on the side of the M13, it's a massive building, and I think for Pine Town itself, we've gone through a lot of uh, trials and, and so forth through, through this last two years with uh, having to move out of the, the old uh, BMW building, which was there for so many years, into temporary facilities. So I think when, when, when we were asked, I was actually, I'm actually a bit disappointed I missed the whole, the whole presentation. But um, I just from our side, I just want to say thank you. Um, as Jeff mentioned, we, we've been very fortunate as the Supertech group from one dealership in South Coast Road, we now, as of March of next year, will be six strong. So it's definitely a growing, a growing group, and um, we look forward to, to obviously. I think a main key point. I'm not sure who mentioned it, but is customers. We wouldn't be, we wouldn't be where we are without customers. Uh, it wouldn't have happened with, and then the fortune we have to, to be able to, we fortunately enough to be able to have built this big building. It's not for us. It's for the customers. And everything we, we're offering within the building is for our customers. Which is thank you. Just one more thing. Um, Supertech, we, we try and do a lot of charity work as much as we can. And this is just one of it uh, the BMW uh, GT10. Uh, it does go for a good cause. It's for one of the children's homes that's up here in Hillcrest. Am I right? Uh, yeah, 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 it's, it's in, in Hillcrest. Hill 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 so there is a raffle. It's so it's a hundred grand a raffle, and by the end of December, it's on the raffle the exact date. You are able to then you will win. You stand a chance to win a G three ten R. Will we all win one? <laughs> <laughs> One of the <laughs> lads <laughs> are not saying it. <laughs> so yes, where are the two hundred other day? So so the staff today will that are with me today will will be able to assist you with the tickets. The lovely lady out in Rosa. The also the Rosa will be assisting. Also, if if not tonight, that uh, you wanna that you you're going home and maybe doesn't have money on you or so forth. The Waterpress Mall uh, store that we've got, it's a pop-up store. It's not going to be there for very long. The minute the new building opens, we will be closing it. But we do have tickets at the, at the store as well. So you're able to find convenience going to the store as well. Does it come with training wheels? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, what I can 
Uh, we can do training. We've got our sales executive who's going to qualify training. But no, no training will happen. Okay, we were talking a bit earlier on about disruption and, mm -hmm. uh, and the car space. This is obviously very interesting because of the economy's cars and electric cars. Correct. Can you tell us about BMW's uh, foray into the electric and autonomous space? So for BMW, uh, Global and BMW SA, there's a massive drive with electronic. We've got in South Africa the i3 and the i8. i8 is a hybrid, i3 is a full electric vehicle. It, we've got the two models, one is 120 kilometer range and the other one's 194 kilometer range, of which you are able to plug it into a normal plug socket and charge your vehicle up. Or, um, or a, look, that does take four to six hours, if you want to charge it within 45 minutes, you are able to bring it to the dealership and have it charged to, at, at the local dealership and then charge within 45 minutes. That sort of charger you can purchase for home and is a little bit more pricey, but for somebody who's going fully electronic, uh, we'll be able to purchase it it's in the region of about 35 to 40,000 rand for that charger. Cheaper than petrol. But it is. When you do when you do the breakdown, you actually will be saving. So what is the rand per liter for diesel petrol? Once we get about there, we'll close. That's the math, because that's how you sell them, surely. What is the, what is the lifetime uh, cost of fueling the car versus the additional capital cost of rand? So your break, look, I haven't done it to the exact rand value, but your break even point, when I did the numbers, you're looking at about three years and you'll be at your break even point. So if you plan on, on saving long term, that is a long term saving on that. But there's also the, let's talk about the, the, the green aspect of the Correct. Correct. Look, with BMW, uh, they are in the process of chatting to government and to put actually charging stations from here to Johannesburg so that customers are able to use it long distance as well as just around town. Because at the moment, you are, only, you are restricted to the mileage of, of the charge. And where are they retail for? So they're in the region of about 600 okay. uh, for an IP. We are also launching, that this will be 2021, will be the um, SUV segment of the iCars as well. So, because a lot of market is going SUV, so they've seen that they're going to migrate and they've already developed it in Germany. There is, they call it the iX3. So it's the X3 the body, but I'm going to get to charge my phone at night. <laughs> 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 I'm going to run into the charging stations like at my garage floor. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Charges like, uh, so, so yeah. it's, cool. it's funny you say that. That is being developed overseas and is actually being developed. It's being funny. For those reasons, you the, those charging those charging platforms are being developed. They are overseas. South Africa, we not the infrastructure is not here just yet. We haven't got coal. What is the lifespan on these? Uh, they've got a warranty of the battery itself has got a warranty of ten years. Well, I mean, we say so, three years is the break even. So the question is, well, a lot of people changing cars in will it, three years. Will so it now get into a new costing cycle and you? So it's break even on the charging station versus yeah. versus fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Versus fuel. Yeah. So yeah. the benefit would really be if you could keep the car for six years, you need yeah. three years for free. But it's not good for the user. The car goes out in two years. Well, well, that's a big that's a big concern with with uh, and you were saying disruption. That is a concern with with the whole South African market in the, in in, uh, in the automotive industry because it's not only our brand; it's across the board. The minute the, it goes full force of, of electronic, you're absolutely correct. Our workshops will slow down quite a bit because of the fact that it, it doesn't need as much maintenance. Uh, the battery itself, as I said, the biggest thing in that the biggest component is the battery. Um, it's actually quite, quite interesting. It takes the whole platform of the bottom of the vehicle. It looks like one of those, if, if, if any of you know the radio control cars and you've got those massive batteries underneath, same concept. <laughs> it's a big battery underneath the car. You have to turn it upside down. When will BMW launch their first self-driving car? Hmm. Look, there is, I don't have factual info on that, but if you look at it, there's what they call the 20, uh, 2021 vision car on the internet which is fully autonomous um, it looks very similar to the i8 
but they are saying that they, BMW Global said that they'll have it, they've committed to have it on the road by, by 2021. Whether it's South Africa in that time frame is debatable depending on infrastructure. And, and legislation. Yes, the big thing is, is the legislation. Because who do you who do you make responsible if there's no ground behind the wheel? So, yeah. 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 It feels a little bit like you're not pushing the, uh, the entry level of electric cars. Uh, I mean, you should have one here tonight because it's a very sexy car. And people like, really important. Cor correct. The sexy correct. Thing. We actually, valid point, I think it was an oversight from our side. It gets used. What we do is our electric car. Our, demo, our demonstration vehicle that we encourage customers to, to use and so forth uh, it is, is with a client at the moment. So, <laughs> but difficult, but uh, you're absolutely correct. It would have actually been a perfect opportunity. Uh, well, we are open to future sponsorships for next year. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, these qualifications. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and if we can get more involved, absolutely. Tony, yeah. yeah. I was going to say something that is. The pertinent. My name is Tony Bennett, I'm a retired banker. Um, came along for Supertech tonight. Supertech started off in about 2001. I met Farida Shao, uh, Farida and Shao uh, Payal. They owned a small garage in Madison, a very, very small garage. They bonded with the, the, the property and they leased it out. So the lease was paying for the bond and they had spent money. They took that money from the bond, they bought a service station with escort and did the same thing. Now we're talking 2001. I was uh, there, I was a banker from 2001. That business grew and grew. We got to the, to the situation where Shale identified the south coast of the mm -hmm. BMW. It was a bit of a rundown, out of town, fairwood area, murky, people didn't want to go there because hold on, we get involved in things. We bought that dealership and turned it around within the first two or three years. And since then, He's taken off, and now he's got five, what, six dealerships? Six by next now. year. Mm -hmm. And it's done, and so the guys who are starting off here tonight, you've got a vision, go for it, mm -hmm. okay? But the biggest thing, that, in my opinion, you get people to help you, okay? you all got your own businesses, and you think that, yes, I've got this idea, you've got to have that provable first business to get it off the ground, but watch your budgets. The biggest failure I see as a banker is people don't budget. You don't plan so hold on, I've got X amount coming in, when is it coming in? How am I going to spend it? How do I have to spend it? Mm -hmm. Far too many people go and say, hold on, I'm making a fortune. I'm going to go and buy top of the range motor car now. Okay? Instead of buying bottom of the end, something that's going to get you from A to B <laughs> to <laughs> 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 But your more status orientated car comes down the road. But at the moment, you're starting off the business. Get a bunchy that's going to give you from A to B. You don't have to have the top of the range. And that's what you do. Get him out there, Ferrari. Guys, thank you very much for your time tonight. Thank you, BMW. You guys are thank absolutely you. amazing. Um, special mention that you have for your efforts. And lastly, to, to Sue and Justin, uh, it's been a wonderful journey, a wonderful story. Um, we know the story's not over. Um, and look forward to watching and, and seeing you guys take this to um, in the future. Thank you so much. Guys, please just give them a round of applause.